on the TV, on the news, on the papers, people only see the result. But the athletes put years and years, 10, 15 years of training into the sport, which are hardly documented. I do not enjoy the prospect of having to go there, but once I'm in there, I enjoy it and I come out feeling better. I think gym is my favourite kind of training because the exercises are organised already. I know what I'm going to do for that day, the amount of reps and everything. When they see water polo players play, they just see what's happening above the water. They don't realise the amount of work that the legs have to put in just to keep us afloat. Gym has become a little bit more important right now. Uh, when I was younger, I used to do the longer distance swimming events. Now that I'm older and I'm focusing more on the 50 and the 100 events, being powerful, being snappy, being strong, is, it's more of a priority. So I think that's where gym you know, comes into play. We know that it's important for what we do. On the boat, when you do a good program, you can actually feel you're more available, uh, you're more powerful, you last longer days, and it feels really good because you know that the, the work you put in, you get a reward. You know, in the water, I don't hear anything. It's lonely, I swim, I hear my coach. In the gym, it's a bit more. I have friends here, different sports, but we're working as hard. We encourage each other, we watch each other. I actually do like gym uh, in general. It gives me the adrenaline and I don't know, I think it's kind of like a love-hate relationship and sometimes we are like quite sadistic because we put ourselves, put our bodies right, through so much pain but at the end of the day, we feel better, we feel stronger, like it, it just feels good after that, not during. <laughs>